Quantum decoherence is the loss of quantum coherence. In quantum mechanics, particles such as electrons are described by a wave function, a mathematical description of the quantum state of a system. The probabilistic nature of the wave function gives rise to various quantum effects. As long as there exists a definite phase relation between different states, the system is said to be coherent. This coherence is a fundamental property of quantum mechanics and is necessary for the functioning of quantum computers. However, when a quantum system is not perfectly isolated, but is in contact with its surroundings, coherence decays with time, a process called quantum decoherence. As a result of this process, the relevant quantum behavior is lost. Decoherence was first introduced in 1970 by the German physicist H. Dieter Zay and has been a subject of active research since the 1980s. Decoherence has been developed into a complete framework, which is said to solve the measurement problem. Decoherence can be viewed as the loss of information from a system into the environment, often modeled as a heat bath, since every system is loosely coupled with the energetic state of its surroundings. Viewed in isolation, the system's dynamics are non-unitary, although the combined system plus environment evolves in a unitary fashion. Thus, the dynamics of the system alone are irreversible. As with any coupling, entanglements are generated between the system and environment. These have the effect of sharing quantum information with, or transferring it to, the surroundings. Decoherence has been used to understand the collapse of the wave function in quantum mechanics. Decoherence does not generate actual wave function collapse. It only provides an explanation for the observation of wave function collapse, as the quantum nature of the system leaks into the environment. That is, components of the wave function are decoupled from a coherent system and acquire phases from their immediate surroundings. A total superposition of the global or universal wave function still exists and remains coherent at the global level, but its ultimate fate remains an interpretational issue. Specifically, decoherence does not attempt to explain the measurement problem. Rather, decoherence provides an explanation for the transition of the system to a mixture of states that seem to correspond to those states observers perceive. Moreover, our observation tells us that this mixture looks like a proper quantum ensemble in a measurement situation, as we observe that measurements lead to the realization of precisely one state in the ensemble. Decoherence represents a challenge for the practical realization of quantum computers, since such machines are expected to rely heavily on the undisturbed evolution of quantum coherences. Simply put, they require that coherent states be preserved and that decoherence is managed, in order to actually perform quantum computation. <laughs> <laughs> Mechanisms To examine how decoherence operates, an intuitive model is presented. The model requires some familiarity with quantum theory basics. Analogies are made between visualizable classical phase spaces and Hilbert spaces. A more rigorous derivation in Dirac notation shows how decoherence destroys interference effects in the quantum nature of systems. Next, the density matrix approach is presented for perspective. Topic: <laughs> Phase space picture. An n-particle system can be represented in non-relativistic quantum mechanics by a wave function psi x 1 x 2 x n display style psi x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots x underscore n where each she is a point in three-dimensional space. This has analogies with the classical phase space. A classical phase space contains a real valued function in 6n dimensions each particle contributes three spatial coordinates and three momenta. Our quantum phase space, on the other hand, involves a complex valued function on a 3n dimensional space. The position and momenta are represented by operators that do not commute, and psi lives in the mathematical structure of a Hilbert space. Aside from these differences, however, the rough analogy holds. Different previously isolated, non-interacting systems occupy different phase spaces. Alternatively we can say that they occupy different lower dimensional subspaces in the phase space of the joint system. The effective dimensionality of a system's phase space is the number of degrees of freedom present, which 
in non-relativistic models, is six times the number of a system's free particles. For a macroscopic system this will be a very large dimensionality. When two systems and the environment would be a system start to interact, though, their associated state vectors are no longer constrained to the subspaces. Instead the combined state vector time evolves a path through the larger volume, whose dimensionality is the sum of the dimensions of the two subspaces. The extent to which two vectors interfere with each other is a measure of how close they are to each other formally, their overlap or Hilbert space multiplies together in the phase space. When a system couples to an external environment, the dimensionality of, and hence, volume, available to, the joint state vector increases enormously. Each environmental degree of freedom contributes an extra dimension. The original system's wave function can be expanded in many different ways as a sum of elements in a quantum superposition. Each expansion corresponds to a projection of the wave vector onto a basis. The basis can be chosen at will. Let us choose an expansion where the resulting basis elements interact with the environment in an element-specific way. Such elements will, with overwhelming probability, be rapidly separated from each other by their natural unitary time evolution along their own independent paths. After a very short interaction, there is almost no chance of any further interference. The process is effectively irreversible. The different elements effectively become lost from each other in the expanded phase space created by coupling with the environment. In phase space, this decoupling is monitored through the Wigner quasi-probability distribution. The original elements are said to have decohered. The environment has effectively selected out those expansions or decompositions of the original state vector that decohere or lose phase coherence with each other. This is called environmentally induced superselection, or einselection. The decohered elements of the system no longer exhibit quantum interference between each other, as in a double-slit experiment. Any elements that decohere from each other via environmental interactions are said to be quantum entangled with the environment. The converse is not true, not all entangled states are decohered from each other. Any measuring device or apparatus acts as an environment, since at some stage along the measuring chain, it has to be large enough to be read by humans. It must possess a very large number of hidden degrees of freedom. In effect, the interactions may be considered to be quantum measurements. As a result of an interaction, the wave functions of the system and the measuring device become entangled with each other. Decoherence happens when different portions of the system's wave function become entangled in different ways with the measuring device. For two einselected elements of the entangled system's state to interfere, both the original system and the measuring in both elements' device must significantly overlap, in the scalar product sense. If the measuring device has many degrees of freedom, it is very unlikely for this to happen. As a consequence, the system behaves as a classical statistical ensemble of the different elements rather than as a single coherent quantum superposition of them. From the perspective of each ensemble member's measuring device, the system appears to have irreversibly collapsed onto a state with a precise value for the measured attributes, relative to that element. <laughs> Dirac notation. Using Dirac notation, let the system initially be in the state psi equals i i i psi display style psi wrangle equals sum underscore i i wrangle langle i psi wrangle, where the i display style i wrangle S form an einselected basis environmentally induced selected eigenbasis, and let the environment initially be in the state E display style epsilon wrangle. The vector basis of the combination of the system and the environment consists of the tensor products of the basis vectors of the two subsystems. Thus, before any interaction between the two subsystems, the joint state can be written as before equals I I E I psi display style text before wrangle equals sum underscore I I wrangle epsilon wrangle langle I psi wrangle where I E display style I wrangle epsilon wrangle is shorthand for the tensor product I E display style I wrangle O times epsilon wrangle 
There are two extremes in the way the system can interact with its environment, either one, the system loses its distinct identity and merges with the environment e.g. photons in a cold, dark cavity get converted into molecular excitations within the cavity walls, or two, the system is not disturbed at all, even though the environment is disturbed e.g. the idealized non-disturbing measurement. In general, an interaction is a mixture of these two extremes that we examine. System absorbed by environment If the environment absorbs the system, each element of the total system's basis interacts with the environment such that I E display style I wrangle epsilon wrangle evolves into E I display style epsilon underscore I wrangle and so before display style text before wrangle evolves into after equals i e i i psi display style text after wrangle equals sum underscore i epsilon underscore i wrangle langle i psi wrangle the unitarity of time evolution demands that the total state basis remains orthonormal i e the scalar or inner products of the basis vectors must vanish since i J equals delta i j display style wrangle i j wrangle equals delta underscore i j e i e j equals delta i j display style wrangle epsilon underscore i epsilon underscore j wrangle equals delta underscore i j this orthonormality of the environment states is the defining characteristic required for ein selection. Topic: <laughs> System not disturbed by environment. In an idealized measurement, the system disturbs the environment but is itself undisturbed by the environment. In this case, each element of the basis interacts with the environment such that I E display style i wrangle epsilon wrangle evolves into the product i e i equals i e i display style i epsilon underscore i wrangle equals i wrangle epsilon underscore i wrangle and so before display style text before wrangle evolves into after equals I I E I I Psi Display style text after wrangle equals sum underscore I I epsilon underscore I wrangle langle I psi wrangle. In this case, unitarity demands that I E I J E J equals I J E I E J equals Delta I J E I E J equals Delta I J Display style Langle I, Epsilon underscore I, J, Epsilon underscore J, Wrangle equals Langle I, J, Wrangle, Langle, Epsilon underscore I, Epsilon underscore J, Wrangle equals Delta underscore I, J, Langle, Epsilon underscore I, Epsilon underscore J, Wrangle equals Delta underscore I, J. Additionally, decoherence requires, by virtue of the large number of hidden degrees of freedom in the environment, that E I E J approximately equals delta i j display style wrangle epsilon underscore i epsilon underscore j wrangle approximately delta underscore i j as before this is the defining characteristic for decoherence to become ein selection the approximation becomes more exact as the number of environmental degrees of freedom affected increases note that if the system basis i Display style i wrangle. We're not an unselected basis. Then the last condition is trivial, since the disturbed environment is not a function of i. 
display style i and we have the trivial disturbed environment basis ej equals e display style epsilon underscore j wrangle equals epsilon wrangle this would correspond to the system basis being degenerate with respect to the environmentally defined measurement observable for a complex environmental interaction which would be expected for a typical macroscale interaction a non einselected basis would be hard to define topic <laughs> loss of interference and the transition from quantum to classical probabilities The utility of decoherence lies in its application to the analysis of probabilities, before and after environmental interaction, and in particular to the vanishing of quantum interference terms after decoherence has occurred. If we ask what is the probability of observing the system making a transition from psi to phi before psi has interacted with its environment, then application of the Born probability rule states that the transition probability is the squared modulus of the scalar product of the two states. Prob before psi phi equals psi phi 2 equals i psi i phi i 2 equals i psi i phi i 2 plus i j i does not equal j psi i psi j phi j phi i Display style operator name prob underscore text before psi two phi equals langle psi phi wrangle carrot two equals sum underscore i psi underscore i carrot asterisk phi underscore i carrot two equals sum underscore i psi underscore i carrot asterisk phi underscore i carrot two plus sum underscore i j i n e q j psi underscore i carrot asterisk psi underscore j phi underscore j carrot asterisk phi underscore i where psi i equals i psi display style psi underscore i equals langle i psi wrangle psi i equals psi i display style psi underscore i caret asterisk equals langle psi i wrangle and phi i equals i phi display style phi underscore i equals langle i phi wrangle etc the above expansion of the transition probability has terms that involve i does not equal j display style i n e q j these can be thought of as representing interference between the different basis elements or quantum alternatives this is a purely quantum effect and represents the non-additivity of the probabilities of quantum alternatives. To calculate the probability of observing the system making a quantum leap from psi display style psi to phi display style phi after psi display style psi has interacted with its environment, then application of the Born probability rule states that we must sum over all the relevant possible states e i display style e underscore i of the environment before squaring the modulus prob after psi phi equals j after phi e j two equals j i psi i i e i phi j 2 equals j i psi i i 
phi e i e j two display style operator name prob underscore text after psi to phi equals sum underscore j langle text after phi epsilon underscore j wrangle caret two equals sum underscore j sum underscore i psi underscore i caret asterisk langle i epsilon underscore i phi epsilon underscore j wrangle caret two equals sum underscore j sum underscore i psi underscore i caret asterisk langle i phi wrangle langle epsilon underscore i epsilon underscore j wrangle caret two the internal summation vanishes when we apply the decoherence ein selection condition e i e j approximately equals delta i j display style langle epsilon underscore i epsilon underscore j wrangle approximately delta underscore i j and the formula simplifies to prob after psi phi approximately equals j psi j j phi 2 equals i psi i phi i 2 Display style operator name prop underscore text after psi to phi approximately sum underscore j psi underscore j carrot asterisk langle j phi wrangle carrot two equals sum underscore i psi underscore i carrot asterisk phi underscore i carrot two. If we compare this with the formula we derived before the environment introduced decoherence, we can see that the effect of decoherence has been to move the summation sign i. Display style text style sum underscore i from inside of the modulus sign to outside. As a result, all the cross or quantum interference terms i j i does not equal j psi i psi j phi j phi i Display style sum underscore i j i n e q j psi underscore i caret asterisk psi underscore j phi underscore j caret asterisk phi underscore i have vanished from the transition probability calculation. The decoherence has irreversibly converted quantum behavior, additive probability amplitudes, to classical behavior, additive probabilities. In terms of density matrices, the loss of interference effects corresponds to the diagonalization of the environmentally traced over density matrix topic <inaudible> <inaudible> density matrix approach the effect of decoherence on density matrices is essentially the decay or rapid vanishing of the off diagonal elements of the partial trace of the joint system's density matrix ie the trace with respect to any environmental basis of the density matrix of the combined system and its environment the decoherence irreversibly converts the averaged or environmentally traced over density matrix from a pure state to a reduced mixture it is this that gives the appearance of wave function collapse Again, this is called environmentally induced superselection or einselection. The advantage of taking the partial trace is that this procedure is indifferent to the environmental basis chosen. Initially, the density matrix of the combined system can be denoted as rho equals before before equals psi psi E E display style row equals text before wrangle langle text before equals psi wrangle langle psi o times epsilon wrangle langle epsilon where E display style epsilon wrangle is the state of the environment. Then if the transition happens before any interaction takes place between the system and the environment, the environment subsystem has no part and can be traced out, leaving the reduced density matrix for the system. Rho S Y S equals T R E N V Rho equals Psi Psi E E equals Psi Psi 
Display style row underscore text S Y S equals operator name T R underscore text R M E N V row equals psi wrangle langle psi langle epsilon epsilon wrangle equals psi wrangle langle psi. Now the transition probability will be given as prob before psi phi equals phi rho s y s phi equals phi psi psi phi equals psi phi two equals i psi i phi i two plus i j i does not equal j psi i psi j phi j phi i Display style operator name prob underscore text before psi to phi equals langle phi row underscore text s y s phi wrangle equals langle phi psi wrangle langle psi phi wrangle equals big langle psi phi wrangle big caret two equals sum underscore i psi underscore i caret asterisk phi underscore i caret two plus sum underscore i j i n e q j psi underscore i caret asterisk psi underscore j phi underscore J carrot asterisk phi underscore I where psi I equals I psi display style psi underscore I equals Langle I psi wrangle psi I equals psi I display style psi underscore I carrot asterisk equals Langle psi I wrangle and phi i equals i phi display style phi underscore i equals langle i phi wrangle etc now the case when transition takes place after the interaction of the system with the environment the combined density matrix will be rho equals after after equals I J Psi I Psi J I E I J E J equals I J Psi I Psi J I J E I E J Display style row equals text after wrangle langle text after equals sum underscore i j psi underscore i psi underscore j caret asterisk i epsilon underscore i wrangle langle j epsilon underscore j equals sum underscore i j psi underscore i psi underscore j caret asterisk i wrangle langle j o times epsilon underscore i wrangle langle epsilon underscore j to get the reduced density matrix of the system, we trace out the environment and employ the decoherence ein selection condition and see that the off diagonal terms vanish, a result obtained by Eric Yos and H.D. Zay in 1985. Rho SYS equals TR ENV I J psi I psi J I J E I E J equals I J Psi I Psi J I J E I E J equals I J Psi I Psi J I J Delta I J equals I Psi I two I 
I Display style row underscore text S Y S equals operator name T R underscore text E N V big sum underscore I J Psi underscore I Psi underscore J carrot asterisk I wrangle Langle J O times Epsilon underscore I wrangle Langle Epsilon underscore J big equals sum underscore I J Psi underscore I Psi underscore J carrot asterisk I wrangle Langle J Langle Epsilon underscore I Epsilon underscore J Wrangle equals sum underscore I J psi underscore I psi underscore J carrot asterisk I wrangle Langle J delta underscore I J equals sum underscore I psi underscore I carrot two I wrangle Langle I. Similarly, the final reduced density matrix after the transition will be J phi J two J J Display style sum underscore j phi underscore j caret two j wrangle langle j. The transition probability will then be given as prob after psi phi equals i j psi i two phi j two j I I J equals I psi I phi I two Display style operator name prob underscore text after psi two phi equals sum underscore i j psi underscore i carrot two phi underscore j carrot two langle j i wrangle langle i j wrangle equals sum underscore i psi underscore i carrot asterisk phi underscore i carrot two, which has no contribution from the interference terms i j i does not equal J psi I psi J phi J phi I display style sum underscore I J I N E Q J psi underscore I carrot asterisk psi underscore J phi underscore J carrot asterisk phi underscore I the density matrix approach has been combined with the Bohmian approach to yield a reduced trajectory approach, taking into account the system reduced density matrix and the influence of the environment. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operator sum representation. Consider a system S and environment bath B, which are closed and can be treated quantum mechanically. Let H S display style math call H underscore S and H B display style math call H underscore B be the systems and Bath's Hilbert spaces respectively. Then the Hamiltonian for the combined system is H caret equals H caret S I caret B plus I carrot S H carrot B plus H carrot I display style hat H equals hat H underscore S O times hat I underscore B plus hat I underscore S O times hat H underscore B plus hat H underscore I where H carrot S H carrot B display style hat H underscore S hat H underscore B are the system and bath Hamiltonians respectively H carrot I display style hat H underscore I is the interaction Hamiltonian between the system and bath and I carrot S I carrot B display style hat I underscore S hat I underscore B are the identity operators on the system and Bath Hilbert spaces respectively. 
The time evolution of the density operator of this closed system is unitary and, as such, is given by ρ s b t equals u caret t ρ s b 0 u caret t Display style row underscore s b t equals hat u t row underscore s b zero hat u caret dagger t, where the unitary operator is u caret equals e minus i h caret t. Display style hat u equals e caret i hat h t h b a r if the system and bath are not entangled initially, then we can write rho s b equals rho s rho b display style rho underscore s b equals rho underscore s o times rho underscore b. Therefore, the evolution of the system becomes rho s b t equals u caret t rho s 0 rho b 0 u caret t Display style row underscore s b t equals hat u t row underscore s zero o times row underscore b zero hat u caret dagger t. The system bath interaction Hamiltonian can be written in a general form as h caret i equals i s caret i b caret I display style hat h underscore i equals sum underscore i hat s underscore i o times hat b underscore i, where s caret i b caret i display style hat s underscore i o times hat b underscore i is the operator acting on the combined system bath Hilbert space and s Carrot I B carrot I display style hat s underscore I hat B underscore I are the operators that act on the system and bath respectively. This coupling of the system and bath is the cause of decoherence in the system alone. To see this, a partial trace is performed over the bath to give a description of the system alone. Rho S T equals T R B U carrot T Rho S zero Rho B zero U carrot T Display style row underscore s t equals operator name t r underscore b big hat u t row underscore s zero o times row underscore b zero hat u caret dagger t big row s t display style row underscore s t is called the reduced density matrix and gives information about the system only. If the bath is written in terms of its set of orthogonal basis kets, that is, if it has been initially diagonalized, then rho b 0 equals j a j j j display style text style row underscore b 0 equals sum underscore j a underscore j j wrangle langle j Computing the partial trace with respect to this computational basis gives rho s t equals l a caret l rho s zero a caret l 
Display style row underscore s t equals sum underscore l hat a underscore l row underscore s zero hat a underscore l caret dagger, where a caret l a caret l display style hat a underscore l hat a underscore l caret dagger are defined as the Krauss operators and are represented as Carrot L equals A J K U carrot J display style hat o underscore L equals S Q R T a underscore J Langle K hat U J Wrangle. This is known as the operator sum representation OSR. A condition on the Krauss operators can be obtained by using the fact that Tr rho s t equals one. Display style operator name tr rho underscore s t equals one. This then gives l a caret l a caret l equals i caret s Display style sum underscore l hat a underscore l caret dagger hat a underscore l equals hat i underscore s. This restriction determines whether decoherence will occur or not in the OSR. In particular, when there is more than one term present in the sum for rho s t. Display style rho underscore s t. Then the dynamics of the system will be non-unitary, and hence decoherence will take place. Topic: <inaudible> Semigroup approach. A more general consideration for the existence of decoherence in a quantum system is given by the master equation, which determines how the density matrix of the system alone evolves in time. See also the Balavkin equation for the evolution under continuous measurement. This uses the Schrödinger picture, where evolution of the state represented by its density matrix is considered. The master equation is rho s t equals minus i h tilde s rho s t plus l d rho S T display style row underscore S T equals frac i h bar big tilde h underscore s row underscore s t big plus l underscore d big row underscore s t big where h tilde s equals h s plus delta Display style tilde h underscore s equals h underscore s plus delta is the system Hamiltonian h s display style h underscore s along with a possible unitary contribution delta display style delta from the bath and l d display style l underscore d is the Lindblad decohering term. The Lindblad decohering term is represented as L D rho S T equals 1 2 alpha beta equals 1 M B alpha beta F alpha Rho S T F beta plus F alpha Rho S T F beta 
display style l underscore d big row underscore s t big equals frac one two sum underscore alpha beta equals one caret m b underscore alpha beta big big math b f f underscore alpha row underscore s t math b f f underscore beta caret dagger big plus big math b f f underscore alpha row underscore s t math b f f underscore beta caret dagger big big F alpha alpha equals one M display style math BFF underscore alpha underscore alpha equals one carrot M are basis operators for the M dimensional space of bounded operators that act on the system Hilbert space H S display style math call H underscore S and are the error generators the matrix elements b alpha beta display style b underscore alpha beta represent the elements of a positive semi-definite hermitian matrix they characterize the decohering processes and as such are called the noise parameters the semigroup approach is particularly nice because it distinguishes between the unitary and decohering non-unitary processes which is not the case with the osr in particular, the non-unitary dynamics are represented by L D display style L underscore D, whereas the unitary dynamics of the state are represented by the usual Heisenberg commutator. Note that when L D rho S T equals zero Display style L underscore D big row underscore S T big equals zero. The dynamical evolution of the system is unitary. The conditions for the evolution of the system density matrix to be described by the master equation are the evolution of the system density matrix is determined by a one parameter semigroup. The evolution is completely positive, i.e., probabilities are preserved. The system and bath density matrices are initially decoupled. Topic: Examples of non-unitary modeling of decoherence. Decoherence can be modeled as a non-unitary process by which a system couples with its environment, although the combined system plus environment evolves in a unitary fashion. Thus the dynamics of the system alone, treated in isolation, are non-unitary and, as such, are represented by irreversible transformations acting on the system's Hilbert space H Since the system's dynamics are represented by irreversible representations, then any information present in the quantum system can be lost to the environment or heat bath. Alternatively, the decay of quantum information caused by the coupling of the system to the environment is referred to as decoherence. Thus decoherence is the process by which information of a quantum system is altered by the system's interaction with its environment which form a closed system, hence creating an entanglement between the system and heat bath environment. As such, since the system is entangled with its environment in some unknown way, a description of the system by itself cannot be made without also referring to the environment i.e. without also describing the state of the environment. <laughs> Rotational decoherence Consider a system of n qubits that is coupled to a bath symmetrically. Suppose this system of n qubits undergoes a rotation around the display style up arrow wrangle langle up arrow down arrow wrangle langle down arrow 0 0 1 1 display style big 0 wrangle langle 0 1 wrangle langle 1 big eigenstates of j z caret Display style hat j underscore z. Then under such a rotation, a random phase phi display style phi will be created between the eigenstates zero display style zero wrangle one display style one wrangle of j z caret display style hat j underscore z. 
Thus these basis qubits 0 display style 0 wrangle and 1 display style 1 wrangle will transform in the following way 0 0 1 e i phi 1 display style 0 wrangle to 0 wrangle quad 1 wrangle to e caret i phi 1 wrangle this transformation is performed by the rotation operator RZ phi equals 100 EI phi display style R underscore Z phi equals begin P matrix 1 and 0 0 and E caret I phi end P matrix since any qubit in this space can be expressed in terms of the basis qubits then all such qubits will be transformed under this rotation Consider a qubit in a pure state, psi j equals a, 0 j plus b, 1 j display style, psi underscore j wrangle equals a, 0 underscore j wrangle plus b, 1 underscore j wrangle. This state will decohere, since it is not encoded with the dephasing factor e i phi display style e caret i phi. This can be seen by examining the density matrix averaged over all values of phi display style phi Rho J equals minus infinity infinity R Z Phi Psi J Psi J R Z Phi P Phi D Phi Display style row underscore j equals int limits underscore in a t carrot in a t r underscore z phi psi underscore j wrangle langle psi underscore j r underscore z carrot dagger phi p phi d phi where p phi display style p phi is a probability density if p phi Display style p phi is given as a Gaussian distribution. P phi equals four pi alpha minus one two e minus phi two four alpha. Display style p phi equals four pi alpha caret minus one half e caret frac phi caret two four alpha. Then the density matrix is rho j equals a two a b e minus alpha a b e minus Alpha B two display style row underscore J equals begin P matrix a carrot two and ab carrot asterisk E carrot alpha a carrot asterisk B carrot alpha and B carrot two end P matrix since the off diagonal elements the coherence terms decay for increasing alpha display style alpha then the density matrices for the various qubits of the system will be indistinguishable. This means that no measurement can distinguish between the qubits, thus creating decoherence between the various qubit states. In particular, this dephasing process causes the qubits to collapse onto the 0 0 1 1 display style 0 wrangle langle 0 1 wrangle langle 1 axis. This is why this type of decoherence process is called collective dephasing because the mutual phases between all qubits of the n qubit system are destroyed. Topic. Depolarizing Depolarizing is a non-unitary transformation on a quantum system which maps pure states to mixed states. This is a non-unitary process, because any transformation that reverses this process will map states out of their respective Hilbert space thus not preserving positivity i.e. the original probabilities are mapped to negative probabilities, which is not allowed. The two-dimensional case of such a transformation would consist of mapping pure states on the surface of the block sphere to mixed states within the block sphere. This would contract the block sphere by some finite amount and the reverse process would expand the block sphere, which cannot happen. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Dissipation. Dissipation is a decohering process by which the populations of quantum states are changed due to entanglement with a bath. An example of this would be a quantum system that can exchange its energy with a bath through the interaction Hamiltonian. If the system is not in its ground state and the bath is at a temperature lower than that of the systems, then the system will give off energy to the bath, and thus higher energy eigenstates of the system Hamiltonian will decohere to the ground state after cooling and, as such, will all be non-degenerate. Since the states are no longer degenerate, they are not distinguishable, and thus this process is irreversible non-unitary. Timescales Decoherence represents an extremely fast process for macroscopic objects, since these are interacting with many microscopic objects, with an enormous number of degrees of freedom, in their natural environment. The process explains why we tend not to observe quantum behavior in everyday macroscopic objects. It also explains why we do see classical fields emerge from the properties of the interaction between matter and radiation for large amounts of matter. The time taken for off-diagonal components of the density matrix to effectively vanish is called the decoherence time. It is typically extremely short for everyday, macroscale processes. Measurement <inaudible> 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 The discontinuous wave function collapse postulated in the Copenhagen interpretation to enable the theory to be related to the results of laboratory measurements cannot be understood as an aspect of the normal dynamics of quantum mechanics via the decoherence process. Decoherence is an important part of some modern refinements of the Copenhagen interpretation. Decoherence shows how a macroscopic system interacting with many microscopic systems e.g. collisions with air molecules or photons moves from being in a pure quantum state which in general will be a coherent superposition see Schrodinger's cat to being in an incoherent improper mixture of these states the weighting of each outcome in the mixture in case of measurement is exactly that which gives the probabilities of the different results of such a measurement However, decoherence by itself may not give a complete solution of the measurement problem, since all components of the wave function still exist in a global superposition, which is explicitly acknowledged in the many worlds interpretation. All decoherence explains, in this view, is why these coherences are no longer available for inspection by local observers. To present a solution to the measurement problem in most interpretations of quantum mechanics, decoherence must be supplied with some non-trivial interpretational considerations as for example Wojciech Zurich tends to do in his existential interpretation. However, according to Everett and DeWitt, the many worlds interpretation can be derived from the formalism alone, in which case no extra interpretational layer is required. Mathematical details We assume for the moment that the system in question consists of a subsystem A being studied and the environment E display style epsilon and the total Hilbert space is the tensor product of a Hilbert space H A display style math call H underscore a describing A and a Hilbert space H E display style math call H underscore epsilon describing E display style epsilon that is H equals H A H E display style math call H equals math call H underscore O O times math call H underscore epsilon. This is a reasonably good approximation in the case where A and E display style epsilon are relatively independent e.g. there is nothing like parts of A mixing with parts of E display style epsilon or conversely the point is the interaction with the environment is for all practical purposes unavoidable e.g. even a single excited atom in a vacuum would emit a photon which would then go off let's say this interaction is described by a unitary transformation u acting upon h Display style math call h. Assume that the initial state of the environment is in display style text in wrangle, and the initial state of A is the superposition state c. 
1 psi 1 plus c 2 psi 2 Display style c underscore one psi underscore one wrangle plus c underscore two psi underscore two wrangle, where psi one display style psi underscore one wrangle and psi two display style psi underscore two wrangle are orthogonal, and there is no entanglement initially. Also, choose an orthonormal basis e. I I display style e underscore I wrangle underscore I for H a display style math call H underscore a this could be a continuously indexed basis or a mixture of continuous and discrete indexes in which case we would have to use a rigged Hilbert space and be more careful about what we mean by orthonormal but that's an inessential detail for expository purposes then we can expand u psi 1 in display style u big psi underscore 1 wrangle o times text in wrangle big and u psi 2 in display style u big psi underscore 2 wrangle o times text in wrangle big uniquely as i e I F one I display style sum underscore I E underscore I wrangle O times F underscore one I wrangle and I E I F two I display style sum underscore I E underscore I wrangle O times F underscore two I wrangle respectively. One thing to realize is that the environment contains a huge number of degrees of freedom, a good number of them interacting with each other all the time. This makes the following assumption reasonable in a handwaving way, which can be shown to be true in some simple toy models. Assume that there exists a basis for h e display style math call h underscore epsilon such that f 1 i Display style f underscore one i wrangle and f one j display style f underscore one j wrangle are all approximately orthogonal to a good degree if i does not equal j and the same thing for f two i display style f underscore two i wrangle and f two J display style f underscore two j wrangle and also for f one i display style f underscore one i wrangle and f two j display style f underscore two j wrangle for any i and j the decoherence property. This often turns out to be true as a reasonable conjecture in the position basis because how A interacts with the environment would often depend critically upon the position of the objects in A. Then, if we take the partial trace over the environment, we would find the density state is approximately described by I F 1 I F 1 I plus F 2 I F two I E I E I display style sum underscore I big Langle F underscore one I F underscore one I wrangle plus Langle F underscore two I F underscore two I wrangle big E underscore I wrangle Langle E underscore I that is, we have a diagonal mixed state, there is no constructive or destructive interference, and the probabilities add up classically. The time it takes for u t the unitary operator as a function of time to display the decoherence property is called the decoherence time. Topic. Experimental observations
Topic: <laughs> Quantitative measurement. The decoherence rate depends on a number of factors, including temperature or uncertainty in position, and many experiments have tried to measure it depending on the external environment. The process of a quantum superposition gradually obliterated by decoherence was quantitatively measured for the first time by Serge Haroche and his co workers at the Ecole Normale Super in Paris in 1996. Their approach involved sending individual rubidium atoms, each in a superposition of two states, through a microwave filled cavity. The two quantum states both cause shifts in the phase of the microwave field, but by different amounts, so that the field itself is also put into a superposition of two states. Due to photon scattering on cavity mirror imperfection, the cavity field losses phase coherence to the environment. Harosh and his colleagues measured the resulting decoherence via correlations between the states of pairs of atoms sent through the cavity with various time delays between the atoms. Reducing environmental decoherence In July 2011, researchers from University of British Columbia and University of California, Santa Barbara were able to reduce environmental decoherence rate to levels far below the threshold necessary for quantum information processing by applying high magnetic fields in their experiment. Criticism Criticism of the adequacy of decoherence theory to solve the measurement problem has been expressed by Anthony Leggett, I hear people murmur the dreaded word decoherence. But I claim that this is a major red herring. Concerning the experimental relevance of decoherence theory, Leggett has stated, let us now try to assess the decoherence argument. Actually, the most economical tactic at this point would be to go directly to the results of the next section, namely that it is experimentally refuted. However, it is interesting to spend a moment inquiring why it was reasonable to anticipate this in advance of the actual experiments. In fact, the argument contains several major loopholes. Topic: In interpretations of quantum mechanics. Before an understanding of decoherence was developed, the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics treated wave function collapse as a fundamental, a priori process. Decoherence provides an explanatory mechanism for the appearance of wave function collapse and was first developed by David Bohm in 1952, who applied it to Louis de Broglie's pilot wave theory, producing Bohmian mechanics, the first successful hidden variables interpretation of quantum mechanics. Decoherence was then used by Hugh Everett in 1957 to form the core of his many worlds interpretation. However, decoherence was largely ignored for many years with the exception of Zay's work, and not until the 1980s did decoherent-based explanations of the appearance of wave function collapse become popular, with the greater acceptance of the use of reduced density matrices. The range of decoherent interpretations have subsequently been extended around the idea, such as consistent histories. Some versions of the Copenhagen interpretation have been modified to include decoherence. Decoherence does not claim to provide a mechanism for the actual wave function collapse, rather it puts forth a reasonable mechanism for the appearance of wave function collapse. The quantum nature of the system is simply leaked into the environment so that a total superposition of the wave function still exists, but exists, at least for all practical purposes, beyond the realm of measurement. Of course, by definition, the claim that a merged but unmeasurable wave function still exists cannot be proven experimentally. Decoherence explains why a quantum system begins to obey classical probability rules after interacting with its environment due to the suppression of the interference terms when applying Born's probability rules to the system. <laughs> See also